Men over 60, I need you to do something that's going to sound absolutely ridiculous. I want you to hum, just hum, like you're humming a tune in the shower. But here's the thing. This specific humming technique, done for just 30 seconds before intimacy, can trigger a nitric oxide release that floods your penis with blood almost immediately. I know, it sounds insane. Humming? Really, Dr. Cruz? Yes, really. And before you click away thinking I've lost my mind, let me show you the science first. Because once you understand the mechanism behind this, you'll realize why humming is actually one of the most powerful and free circulation techniques available. I'm Dr. Amara Cruz, and for over 14 years, I've been helping men over 60 reclaim their performance using science-backed techniques. And yes, I've recommended toothbrushes, spoons, socks, and ice cubes. But this, this might be the weirdest one yet. And it works. So let me explain why before I show you how. Here's what's happening in your body when you hum. Mechanism number one, vagus nerve stimulation. Your vagus nerve is the longest nerve in your body. It runs from your brainstem down through your chest and into your abdomen. And it controls something called your parasympathetic nervous system, your rest and digest mode. When you hum, the vibration directly stimulates this vagus nerve. This is not theory. This is documented physiology. A study published in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine in 2002 found that humming increases nitric oxide production in the nasal passages by up to 15-fold. That's 15 times the normal level. Why does this matter? Because nitric oxide is the molecule responsible for erections. It's what causes blood vessels to relax and expand. It's literally what drugs like Viagra work on. They enhance your body's natural nitric oxide response. But here's what most men don't know. You can trigger nitric oxide production naturally through vibration. When you hum, you're creating a low-frequency vibration that resonates through your entire upper body. This vibration activates the vagus nerve, which signals your body to release nitric oxide systemically, not just in your nasal passages, but throughout your vascular system. And where does this nitric oxide go? Everywhere, including the blood vessels in your penis. Mechanism number two, parasympathetic nervous system activation. Erectile function is controlled by your parasympathetic nervous system. This is the opposite of your fight or flight stress response. When you're stressed, anxious, or in sympathetic dominance, erections are difficult or impossible. Your body literally shuts down non-essential functions, and reproduction is considered non-essential during stress. But when you activate the parasympathetic system, which humming does directly through vagus nerve stimulation, your body shifts into a state that supports erectile function. A 2010 study in the Journal of Clinical Psychology found that humming and low-frequency vocalization decreased cortisol levels and increased parasympathetic activity within 60 seconds. Translation, humming calms your nervous system, lowers stress hormones, and creates the exact physiological state your body needs for strong erections. Mechanism number three, oxygenation and breathing regulation. When you hum, you're forced to breathe slowly and deeply through your nose. This controlled breathing pattern does two things. First, it increases oxygen saturation in your blood. Better oxygen equals better circulation equals better performance. Second, it extends your exhale. Extended exhales specifically activate the parasympathetic nervous system. It's why breathing techniques work for anxiety and stress. You're essentially combining nitric oxide production, stress reduction, and improved oxygenation into one simple technique. Now, I know some of you are thinking, this is based on nose humming studies. How does that translate to male performance? Great question. Here's the connection. The nitric oxide produced in your nasal passages enters your bloodstream. Within 60 to 90 seconds, that nitric oxide is circulating systemically, meaning it reaches all your blood vessels, including those in your pelvic region. Additionally, the vagus nerve stimulation affects your entire autonomic nervous system, not just your sinuses. When you activate parasympathetic dominance, the effects are body-wide. Think of it like this. Your body doesn't compartmentalize. When you trigger a systemic response like nitric oxide release and parasympathetic activation, it affects everything, including erectile tissue. And the research backs this up. A 2018 study in the International Journal of Yoga found that humming meditation improved cardiovascular function and blood flow markers, not just in the nose, systemically. So yes, humming for erections sounds bizarre, but the physiology is solid. Now that you understand why this works, let me show you exactly how to do it. Here's the step-by-step -step technique. Step one, find a private, quiet place. You don't need to do this in front of anyone. 
bathroom works great. Step two, close your mouth and breathe in slowly through your nose. Step three, as you exhale through your nose, create a humming sound, like hmm, keep your mouth closed. The vibration should be felt in your throat, chest, and face. Step four, make the hum as deep and resonant as you can. Think bass notes, not high-pitched. The lower the frequency, the stronger the vagus nerve stimulation. Step five, continue humming for 30 seconds straight. You can take quick breaths between hums if needed, but aim for continuous vibration. Step six, do this two to five minutes before intimacy. That's it, 30 seconds of humming, the most absurd technique I've ever shared. And it works. Now let me address the three most common mistakes and questions men have about this technique. Mistake number one, humming too quietly or too high pitched. The vibration needs to be strong enough to stimulate the vagus nerve. If you're barely humming, you're not getting the physiological response. Make it loud, make it deep. You should feel the vibration throughout your chest and throat. That's when you know it's working. Mistake number two, holding your breath or breathing incorrectly. The humming happens on the exhale. Breathe in through your nose, then hum as you breathe out. Don't try to hold your breath while humming. That defeats the oxygenation benefit. Mistake number three, stopping too soon. 30 seconds might feel like a long time when you're humming, but that's the minimum to trigger sufficient nitric oxide release and vagus nerve activation. If you stop at 10 or 15 seconds, you're not hitting the threshold. Push through the full 30 seconds. Now, the question everyone's wondering, do I really have to hum? Can I just breathe deeply? Deep breathing helps, but it doesn't produce the same nitric oxide surge that humming does. The vibration is what makes this technique unique and powerful. That said, if you're in a situation where humming isn't practical, deep nasal breathing is better than nothing. But for maximum effect, hmm. Here's the advanced version for those who want even better results. After your 30 seconds of humming, immediately do 10 seconds of the 426 breathing pattern I've shared in previous videos. Inhale for four counts, hold for two, exhale for six. This extends the parasympathetic activation and compounds the effect. Humming for nitric oxide, then controlled breathing for sustained parasympathetic dominance. Together, they're incredibly powerful. Let's recap the complete protocol. Find privacy. Close your mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Hum deeply as you exhale. 30 seconds straight. Feel the vibration in your chest and throat. Do this two to five minutes before intimacy. That's it. Free, portable, zero equipment. And yes, wonderfully absurd. Try this once. Notice if you feel more relaxed, more present, more ready. Then let me know in the comments if the humming technique worked for you. Subscribe for more techniques like this. I post twice a week. Unconventional methods, real science, actual results. See you then, my friend. And remember, sometimes the most ridiculous techniques are the most effective. Don't knock it till you try it.